Coming up on Press This, we're going to talk about our favorite WordPress plugins when we install fresh WordPress. That's right, Matt. And we're going to look at your care package when first installing your WordPress powered website. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. This is the show where we take some of the world's WordPress greatest news, themes, plugins, stuff, smash them together, give it some context around it, and hopefully you can learn something from the show. Great catch, Matt. If you guys want to uh, look at more of this great content, you can subscribe to us right on our YouTube channel with the big old red subscribe button. Or almost go to our, 1,500. Almost 1,500 on our way to 10,000. Or you can go and subscribe to our website, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe, where we post all kinds of great blog content for you to look at and enjoy. This episode is brought to you by our latest theme, uh, available free to download. Check it out. It's called Minimize. You can go to wordpress.org themes, type in the word minimize, hit enter, and you can get a free responsive blog theme. Uh, for all your blogging needs, let's right get in a WordPress repository or on our website. Right. Let's get right into it. Yes. We're going to talk about our favorite plugins that we install yeah. every time we set up a new WordPress yeah. site. I don't little... know about you, but I install about 7,000 copies of WordPress a day. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I install one once. No. Um, but in all honesty, whether you're installing like 7,000 copies a day like Matt is, or whether you're like myself, you've installed it a few times on a couple different websites or for a couple different folks or for yourself, um, it's important to have that sort of that tool belt. That tool belt of, of, of plugins that are, are good to have either right away or ones that are just good to have in general. Mm -hmm. um, so today's look is going to be kind of, I don't know if technical is the right word, but sort of great plugins to think about when you are starting with a website or, or if you're a developer and you're getting plugins for a client or whatever it may be. Um, we have a few for you today. How do you want to do that? Do you want to go, you yeah, name we'll go, one, we'll go back I and name forth. one? We'll go back and okay. forth. We'll go back and forth. And I don't know, do you want to start with the more technical ones or do you want to start with sort of the more fun ones or the ones that we recommend first? Uh, mine are listed out in the way I usually, the order that I install them. So okay. Um, it doesn't matter to me. We can go. So I'll start with my Dan Zarzaki care package I have here in the notes. Okay. Um, and I'll start with um, Backup Buddy. So we talked about Backup Buddy as one of our first plugin reviews on the show like a year ago. <laughs> almost a year. Um, almost a year ago. Um, and Backup Buddy comes to us from iThemes. Um, and it's basically a plugin for backing up your stuff. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Basically, you have all your content something happens to your server or you lose your stuff for some reason or other, something crashes, there's a, there's a hack or something. You know, that's why we have security updates with WordPress and why you should always be updating, which we've talked about in many episodes. But Backup Buddy is going to back it up so if anything does happen, you're covered. That's right. Um, I also use, in that same regard, that is a premium plugin. Mm -hmm. The free one that I use yes. is BackWP. I yep. also looked yep. at that. That's that same episode. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's right. It is the you same can, episode. You can look at it head to head and kind of come to your conclusion. Uh, sort of my kind of, you know, in the same sense of a care package, mm -hmm. one of the ones that I like to use in more of the fun sense is yep. Jetpack. Yep. Uh, it does a whole bunch of stuff. Like I think right now it does like 20 different yeah. things yep. from from <clears throat> newsletter sign up to photo galleries. The reason why I like it is the Photon Photo stuff mm -hmm. because as somebody who's like, helping improve WordPress websites, the Photon stuff will actually host photos yep. from WordPress.com, yep. which make your site load a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. So I really like yep. it. And mo like nine times out of 10, I'm installing it just for that feature. Yeah, and it's a WordPress-based plugins in a plugin. Um, it's really, really, really uh, popular. I think it's the number one, of, I would assume, uh, still at this point on the plugin repository. If you haven't heard of it, I recommend checking it out. Yeah. Um, moving on to my next care package item um, is, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and Throw both these together. Sure. And just completely throw out what you said earlier. Okay. <laughs> Which is... Um, Sounds good. We have Ultimate Coming Soon page, and we have WP Migrate uh, DB Pro. Whew, that one's a mouthful. The reason why I'm including them together is because when you first create a website, especially if it's for a business, maybe you're re-editing a website. Maybe you had a website before with some other, you know, from some other kind of design software. You're using like a Drupal, another CMS, or mm -hmm. you're using like Tumblr, or you're using, I don't know. Yahoo GeoCities. No, I'm just kidding. Um, or you're moving your web host yeah, to another web, web host, right? Um, what this is gonna, uh, what WP Migrate DB Pro does, is it takes your existing WordPress stuff and allows you to migrate it. 
So if you do change your web host or anything like that, um, it's a very, very seamless process. Tied in with that is the ultimate coming soon page. What this allows you to do is if you are maybe migrating your database, not from another server, but maybe from your local host, because you've been editing, you've been retweaking, maybe you're coming out with the 2.0 of your web page, and you want to have something to show people while you're kind of editing or tweaking stuff in the back end. Coming soon page is basically a great plugin that allows you to basically just put in something that, you know, if I go, you go to your website, their website, it says coming soon or out of business for right now and we'll be right back or out to lunch, you know, um, to let people know while you're editing in the back end. Yeah. And it's, and it's, I think maybe why you wanted to put those together is mm -hmm. these are the types of plugins you don't really use on a day to day right. for your own site unless right. you're actually you know right. servicing right. the WordPress sites. Right. This is all care package stuff. This isn't the the stuff that you're going to be using a lot. Yeah, um, um, and you kind of use Ultimate Coming Soon page right. whenever you're doing like maintenance or relaunching. It's not something you're in every single day. Right. Mm -hmm. um, what I you know kind of the one that I use and similar to that yep. like a set yep. and forget kind of thing is yeah. a Kismet. <laughs> Yep. which is a spam mm -hmm. uh, protection yep. service, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so you, it already comes with WordPress. You just right. have to activate it through an API key. And you know, I couldn't live without this plugin just from the sheer fact of as soon as you launch that WordPress site. <laughs> it's like attack, attack, attack. It's attack, 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 especially when you start using some of the other plugins we're going to mm -hmm. talk about to help mm -hmm. get people to your website. You're also yeah. bringing spammers to your website. Akismet does a tremendous job um, of, of stopping those comments. Oh, yeah. And if you don't have a blog, just shut off comments altogether. You don't even have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Let's go. All right, Dan. So your very first plugin that you install when you get your new site up and running, what is it? Very first plugin, WordPress SEO by Yoast. Um, I actually, the same week that we're recording this, another episode is going to go out for SEO lunch about WordPress plugins. And in that episode, I profess that the one that I use for search engine optimization is WordPress SEO. Um, it's a great remind, it's a great refresher, uh, for search engine optimization, um, while you're in your posts and pages, as well as just a really great overall plugin to say when this website's out or when this post or this page is out, it's going to rank really well. Mm -hmm. Um, they have all the options for you. Um, but my favorite thing, especially if you're new, uh, and you want a great plugin to start with, and you've never written like a blog post before, they have a really, really great page analysis section right in the post where you can track it and, and it'll say, you know, really simple things like, you know, this, this post should be at least this long and it isn't there yet. So work on this. Oh, you know, you focused on this keyword, you know, so if you're pizza sauce, you focus on the keyword pizza sauce recipe. And, you know, you don't have enough, you know, you don't have enough H2 tags or something mm. like that. It's a really, really great kind of way to step back and say, okay, this is what I need to add. This is what I need to change. Um, and I really like it for that. Nice. I see your WordPress SEO by Yoast. Yeah. And raise you Google Analytics yes. for WordPress yes. by Yoast. Yeah. <laughs> um, why, you know, I know why the technicalities of why this isn't in the same plugin. Yeah. Uh, it really should be because I, I just hate having to install two different plugins. Right. Um, that kind of almost the same thing. Uh, Google Analytics by for WordPress by Yoast. There's a whole bunch of other plugins out there that will activate your Google Analytics or connect your Google Analytics account to your WordPress website. Mm -hmm. I just use this one because I'm already using Yoast mm -hmm. SEO. Yeah. Why not use the same author, especially for support and compatibility kind of thing? Right. Um, you know, you can authorize your Google Analytics account right into your WordPress site, mm -hmm. and then you can pick from the different profiles that you have in, in Google Analytics, or you can just throw the code right in there um, and uh, just activate it that way in a more manual process. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you want to track? Logged in users, not logged in users, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you know, Ignore certain types of user profiles, mm -hmm. track outbound links, that kind of cool thing. Yeah. So whole host of good things to go, but those are at least my number two as well. Right, right, right. Um, we talked about um, completely jumping away from that <laughs> uh, to my next, my next, my next thing here. Um, we talked about contact form plugins, and there's a free one out there. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna love it. Most of my plugins here are paid for. Uh, but uh, P, um, PHP, that's later. Gravity Forms um, is the contact form plugin that I really like. Uh, its integration with services like Mailchimp is really, really nice. As well as I really like the way that they integrated a contact form insertion right into the post. So when you download this plugin, they make it very, very simple to put in a contact form. Mm. You create a page and it's very easy to just go boop. And it's a very visual, um, very, very clean, nice looking contact form that you get as well. There is contact form seven, which is kind of cool, but I just preferred the, the, the gravity forms for, for this purpose. I agree. If you are using Dan's care package to launch or move <laughs> or migrate or 
copy your site to another yep. host and you're maybe you're changing your URL, maybe you're changing from, like he said, Tumblr to WordPress and your URL is going to be a little bit different now. You need a plugin called Redirection. Mm -hmm. I use this all the time. It's not a very sexy plugin. Right. Um, you just put in where you want a URL to go mm -hmm. and what the um, redirection will be. Yep. You can use it for marketing purposes. You can do it for 301 redirects. Yep. You can do it for SEO stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's just a list of all your redirects, how many times they were actually hit. Yep. You can group them up. You can put notes about them. Um, it's, you know, it hasn't actually, this plugin actually hasn't been updated in like a year. Yeah. But it has a million downloads. It's super useful. There's not much going on to it. It's just, hey, if you have domain.com and you go to a, I use this, this is what I mm -hmm. use it for. Besides yep. like the 301 and like yep. fixing sites. I'll go to a speaking event mm -hmm. and I'll be like, you can get my stuff at mattreport.com slash island. Yeah. And then that will redirect to either a presentation that I have or just another internal page. Right. And I just use those redirects yeah. to kind of gauge right. whatever, it, some marketing stuff. Right. See how many times people actually use that, that right. URL. You know, did, did was this effective in my, you know, right. during my presentation? Should I even bother doing it anymore? Should I do more of it? You know, correct like that, which is always really cool really cool stuff. Um, why don't you finish up with some of these other plugins that are a little bit more care packagey? Sure. So uh, the next one that I would be using, uh, especially on a client site mm -hmm. or a fresh site, mm -hmm. um, especially if you're starting a new theme from scratch, mm -hmm. you never know what, how things are going to look like yeah. when somebody adds a post title that's like 5,000 characters <laughs> long, or if they insert an image that's too big for, for the content, or they put a whole bunch of things in the widget area. What about your menus? Like you want to test your menus and make sure I have all the styling done for the menus. Right. WPTest.io. Mm -hmm. It's not a plugin that's in the repo. I don't normally recommend plugins that are outside of the WordPress repo, but this one is actually built from the guys at 8-Bit. Everybody uses it. Mm -hmm. um, and what this will do is dummy data. Yeah. So you install it, activate it, yep. import the dummy data that it comes with, and it will fill out just dummy text of, Pages, posts, widgets, navigations, sub navigations, comments, yep. sub comments, it'll photos, avatars, everything. Yeah. Um, and then you get to see how your theme's gonna yeah. look when it's all done. Which is always great because it takes the the guesswork or the, you know, the you can avoid you having to use ultimate coming soon page mm -hmm. as much as you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then sort of more of on the tech side of yeah. of launching a site. This is one that you have to check with your web host first. Yep. If you're on one of those shared hosting environments, some of them don't support it. Some of them really need it. Yeah. Um, this is W3 Total Cache. Um, W3 TC is how it's kind of referred to. Mm -hmm. This plugin will, out of the box, speed up your website right. from, the, from, from the basics of just caching stuff. Okay? Yep. I don't want to go too involved, right. but it'll cache things. It'll right. cache things like images, browser load times, code, CSS, and Java. Um, it is a super technical plugin, mm -hmm. and nine times out of the ten, out of ten, out of the box will work just fine for you. What about and that one time, though? Well, that one time, you're going to need a professional. Oh yeah, that's where we come into play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do check that out. Cool. Um, and to end on a couple fun ones, um, one that I really like, I was actually introduced to me by Scott when I was starting my website, um, was PHP Code Widget. A really, really uh, hi a highly downloaded, I forgot the number of downloads, I'll check it out here, um, widget that allows you to, there's a text widget built into WordPress where if you want to put a link or something, you can do that. But for so, sort of the more PHP-y things um, that sort of kind of go into your WordPress website or tap into its functionality a little bit more, there's a really, really great plugin out there called PHP Code Widget. It's been downloaded 290,000 times. And what it basically allows you to do is where you'd make a text widget, you make a PHP widget. Um, one really great application of it, and the reason why I was introduced to it in the first place, was something as simple as, you know, when you're on a website, to smartly display whether or not you're signing in or signing out is a really, really cool feature. So you can use PHP, and you need to know some PHP code, so again, this is a little bit more technical. Um, you can say, okay, this will allow me to sign out, or if I'm signed in, or if I'm signed out, to sign in, which is plus, really neat. Plus, you might be able to get these PHP snippets from another like mm -hmm. developer's website, right. or if you need PHP to embed some kind of widget right. thing that you might find. Right, so as long as you can like, as long as you can download the plugin and then search for it, you can just copy paste. Very cool. And you have a really functional plugin. Very cool. And sort of my <clears throat> uh, last one that I mm -hmm. install right out of the gate because I already know we're going to need to use it is yeah. um, Dig Dig, which is mm -hmm. your uh, yeah. social share bar that kind of floats mm -hmm. up and down with the blog post or really the page, cool. or you can embed it uh, into yeah. the page and yeah. content. Uh, you know, fun app, 
Uh, it doesn't get a good rating on .org, yeah. only for the fact that this was recently acquired by Buffer App. Okay. And it was the previous developers that kind of gave it a, a, a bad name um, because they kind of okay. stopped developing on it. They oh, had a lot of okay. bugs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think bu uh, Buffer App is trying to bring that into a whole new direction. Yeah. Uh, but almost a million awesome. downloads. Yeah, tons of downloads. Um, as Dan's looking it up on his computer. Yeah. So one that I we always use when we install a new site. Awesome. Cool. So that's those are the plugins that mm -hmm. Dan and I install right right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. What do you install? What plugins are you using right out of the gate? Are you a WordPress developer, designer? Are you consulting folks on how to launch WordPress websites? Tell us what you use. We would love to know uh, in the comments. And that's a wrap, I think, that's Dan. That's a wrap. Uh, what else do we have? Of course, always subscribe. Yeah. Hit subscribe on mm -hmm. YouTube. Yeah. Uh, go to our website, silicomstudio.com slash blog, uh, where we do all the other fun stuff. We have Week in WordPress, which comes yeah. out every Friday at 2.30. Yeah. Yeah. Dan does some awesome stuff with SEO at SEO Lunch. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Yeah. And Matt Report, as always, if you want to tune into how people are actually building WordPress businesses. Mm -hmm. Some of them making millions of bucks. Pretty amazing. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah.